Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Eileen Costello. I am so pleased and proud to be here as a member of the board of the Canada Ireland Foundation. This is a very, very exciting day, and we're really pleased that you could all be here uh, to share in this amazing news. We're joined today by Mr. James Maloney, Member of Parliament, the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Justice and the Attorney General of Canada, and our favourite Irish politician. Celebrating Irish heritage in Canada, I said, has become a passion project for me. I was elected in 2015 for the first time, and because of that passion, I was in a place at a time where I was able to do something that was very special, and I introduced a motion in the House of Commons declaring the month of March as Irish Heritage Month. The motion passed on March the 10th, 2021. So from that day forward, every March, every year, is Irish Heritage Month in Canada. And it's a, it's a celebration of, of Irish Canadian history, and I would say Irish Canadian history is really Canadian history. Uh, it's not, I mean, tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day, we're all going to be wearing our green ties and put on a green hat and we're going to have a, a glass of beer and celebrate the day. But Irish Heritage Month is about the Irish community across Canada. It's about the Irish people who, over generations, built this country into what it is. And that's the purpose of the motion, that's the purpose of the month, and we need to celebrate it. And this, this park out behind us, where we're standing right now, this building is going to bring those memories to the forefront so that people are fully aware and get to relive that history. So I want to thank you for that. The story of the Irish in Canada continues to develop and the Canada Ireland Foundation's new project, the Corlick Centre, is set to write its own chapter. Through the medium of culture and the arts, this building will present new opportunities to showcase Irish culture to Canadian audiences, but also will be a focal point for the Irish Canadian community to engage with the many diverse cultures that enrich the Toronto of today. I'm here on behalf of the Honourable Sean Fraser, who's the Minister of Housing, Infrastructure and Communities, to announce that the federal government is investing over $4.5 million under the Green and Inclusive Community Buildings Program to renovate and restore this beautiful building. Today I can announce that the Irish government will provide a further $2 million in capital funding to the Carlex building. We have great opportunity to do something fantastic and 52% of the citizens of this city were born in another country. It is a very diverse country, very diverse city and so we decided intentionally that the name of this building should be open and inclusive and attractive to everyone in the city. This will be a place of joy, of laughter, of conversation, of the celebration and the display of art, sculpture, painting, great architecture, storytelling, and with your financial support, Tonished, and with yours, James, I think we can make this a really special location. And so I just want to finish by saying the best days of Canada Ireland Foundation are ahead. And thank you for your support and thank you to all of you here today who've helped in any way. Thank you very much. Thank you.